Eugene, all I really want to know is if you are a smarty pants. You know things. I, I am indeed a smarty pants. Negan instantly sees that there's value with this guy. He's someone who is essential to Negan's plans for the future. Eugene fully recognizes if I can be valuable to this man, I will never have to be that scared again. And he's fine with that. He finds that the thing that Negan can promise him is safety. And that's incredibly tantalizing. It's a little vague as to whether or not he's actually playing a role or if he is actually going over to the other side. I've recently been appointed to the newly created post of chief engineer of this facility. I report directly to Negan, which means you report directly to my ass. Eugene comes to understand that the language of the sanctuary in a lot of ways is aggression. And in showing that aggression, you can get what you need. And in that moment, he kind of assumes a character. If I'm gonna survive, I really have to sell this. I really have to believe it myself that I am one of them. I don't think we've ever seen Eugene do something like that. It's not him, but I think it's kind of slowly becoming him as well. Did you make the pills? I did, but you can't have them. I'm not gonna let someone I don't really know who is lying to me and I see right through this lie to then carry out this mission of trying to kill this man. And he certainly doesn't know if he can trust them. It might very well be a trap on their part to see where his loyalties lie. Eugene definitely has the upper hand. Good morning, sunshine. This episode really does give us a lot of backstory for Dwight. Right from the beginning when he realizes Daryl is gone, he knows he's screwed. When he reads the note, go now, he, I think he recognizes the handwriting immediately. He has to play a game this episode. He has to convince Negan that he can find Sherry, that Sherry was not responsible for letting Daryl go, even though he knows that she was. So he sets out to find her. There's a lot of stuff going through Dwight's mind when he goes back to the, him and Sherry's house. Honey? You get a chance to see a little bit about who they were together as a couple. D, I wish I could wait for you now. But I don't know if you'd come with me or if you'd take me back there. The note is devastating because she doesn't know who I am anymore. She doesn't trust me. It's horrible. It's really heartbreaking because you realize the events that transpired that made him who he was. Now, with, with Sherry gone, he's having to face completely what he's become. From here on out, he's this calculated, cold-blooded killer, and he's got a plan. I found this little souvenir tucked away in your desk. I, I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Negan's favorite wife is gone, and someone's to be sure gonna pay, and Dr. Carson just happened to be the guy. He sets up Dr. Carson, but he does it to protect her. And it eliminates somebody who he doesn't want to be reminded that he's been a coward. We are Negan. Yeah. 